Good morning. My name is Esther Mazala. Welcome to our Morning Glory this day. I'm so glad that you got to join us this morning. I'm glad that I'll be taking you today through today's morning devotion. I will be reading from the book of Judges chapter 7 and today I would just love to talk about obedience and I would just love to touch on a few stories in the Bible that got me really thinking about this topic on obedience and actually obeying the Lord God um almighty. I would love to read from the book of Judges chapter 7. Uh The Lord said to Gideon, "You have too many men for me to deliver Midian into your hands, in order that Israel may not boast against me that her own strength has saved her." Announce now to the people anyone who trembles with fear must turn back and leave Mount Gideon. So 22 men, 22,000 men left uh, while 10,000 remained. I would love to jump to verse 5. So Gideon took the men down to the water. There the Lord told him, "Separate those who lap the water with their tongues like a dog from those who kneel down to drink." 3000 men lapped uh, with their hands to their mouths all the rest got down to their knees to drink the lord said to gideon with the 300 men that lapped i will save you and give the midianites into your hands let all the other men go and eat to his own place um so gideon sent the rest of the israelites to the tent but kept the 300 men who took over the provisions and trumpets to the other to of the others now the camp of the median lay below him in the valley i would love to jump to verse 13 god gideon sorry gideon arrived just as a man was telling a friend uh, a friend his dream i had a dream he was saying a round loaf of barley bread came tumbling into the midianites camp It struck to the tent with a such a force that the tent overturned and collapsed. His friend responded, "This can be nothing other than the sword of the Gideon son of Joash, the Israelites. Go, sorry, God has given the Midianites and the whole camp into his hands." When Gideon had the dream and and its interpretation, he worshiped God. He returned to the camp of Israel and called out, "Get up!" The Lord has given the Midianites camp into our hands. I would love to just touch on verse 17 when Gideon was given uh, this when when Gideon got this revelation that uh the Midianites were actually scared that they would be defeated by the Israelites. He went ahead and told his men, the 300 men that were left, "Watch me," he told them. "Follow my lead. When I get to the edge of the camp, do exactly as I do." and i would just love to jump to verse 20 the the three companies blew the trumpets and smashed the jars grasping the ta- the torches in their left hand and holding in their right hand the trumpets they were they were to blow they shouted a sword for the lord and for gideon which each man held up his position around the camp and all the midianites ran crying out as they fled that story of gideon reminds me about obeying God and actually the benefits that come from obeying the Lord. You can never miss the mark when it comes to obeying the Lord. The Bible tells us from the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 2 to 4 it says this is how we know that we love the children of God by loving God and carrying out his commands. Jesus so many times Jesus could say if you love me you will obey my commands. And I love how Gideon obeyed the lord if you go and read judges chapter 6 it touches on how gideon was not so sure if he would be able to go and bring the israelites out of the hands of the midianites because they had suffered in their hands for a very long time and gideon was so 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 afraid he actually told god to give him so many signs god please give me a sign give me a sign that you'll actually go with me if i actually obey you and now verse 7 is what follows and how he actually goes to the camp and hears that they would actually be able to defeat the israelites and what i love most is that they only used trumpets empty jars and torches and actually defeated the 
Midianites. And I would just love to touch on how the story of King Saul. King Saul did not obey the Lord fully. He actually took up the assignment he had been given to deliver the Israelites from the Amalekites. If you just go and read that story, but he did not complete this assignment. He actually hid some. He did not fulfill the assignment to the completion, and he actually also took some cattle that were left, the best cattle, and now killed the other ones that were looking a bit blemished. So he did not fully obey God, and you, we all understand what followed him after after that. Well, well, he disobeyed the Lord. So we just love to actually uh, share that partial or half obedience is not obedience. It is okay to just go to the Lord. Sometimes, if you are doubting, just like Gideon, tell the Lord, God, give me a sign. Actually, show me that you will actually take me through this huge assignment or this big thing that is ahead of me. And if you try, if you actually show me that you will be with me, I will obey you fully i would just love to encourage you to go and read that story of how gideon really obeyed the lord and i would just love to encourage you if there's something that you've really been finding so hard to obey the lord in please take that bold step step to obey god fully because there's a blessing that comes from obeying the lord in his fullness and not just leaving an assignment halfway and there's a blessing that comes with it i love how god gave the israelites victory over this um, midianites even without having to fight they literally just had to blow their trumpets and they actually followed the instructions of gideon the soldiers the 300 soldiers that were left they followed the instruction of gideon exactly how he told them and i love how they borrowed that from gideon so it's it's important to always obey the Lord in fullness and I would just love us to pray right now in this moment even as we commit ourselves to the Lord and even as we commit uh, and ask God to help us to fully obey him let's believe and pray father in the mighty name of Jesus we honor you we glorify your name God we thank you for your word this morning we don't take it for granted that you've brought us this far heavenly father we thank you for you've enabled us to see the end of April you have been faithful and we give you all the glory and honor. Father Lord, we thank you for today. You have reminded us that half obedience is not obedience. Father Lord, help us to obey you. For they who say that they love you are they who obey your commands. Heavenly Father, any command that you may have commanded us to do, to do any instruction that you may have given your people, Father Lord, may you, be, may you help them to actually have the confidence and have the actually believe in in your word and to believe in your instruction and follow your instruction and actually do the assignment that is before before us for the glory and honor of your name father we thank you for your word and we continue to commit our lives unto you lord may you take the lead may you take your place in our lives lord we continue to surrender ourselves to you and we ask not our will but your will be done through us father we glorify your name we honor you for only you are god and above you there is no other we thank you jesus and we glorify your holy name may you help us guide us through this day anything that we need lord may you meet us at the point of our needs for the glory and honor of your name we thank you and we love you it is in jesus mighty name we pray believing and trusting in christ holy name amen thank you so much for listening to today's morning glory i would love to invite you to our church this sunday we have an amazing amazing service that starts at 7 30 a.m and our second service that starts at 9 30 a.m welcome to praise chapel opposite aga khan hospital alongside mathenge road karibu sana thank you and see you next time